Okay, let's get this camera still. Boom camera. There we go. My name is Al, and uh, I've been taking gabapentin for just under two years now for uh, diabetic peripheral neuropathy. It wasn't until a few months ago I uh, decided to try to uh, quit gabapentin, and uh, and of course it was at that point that I uh, found out that I was addicted to it, physically addicted to it, without realizing it. So I've been weaning myself off it gradually for several months, and... Uh, have uh, really started uh, kicking it into overdrive, I guess, uh, over the last month or so. So I'm going to show you a quick and dirty guide to how I've been kicking gabapentin. I'm not completely off it yet, but I hope to be uh, by the end of this week. To kick gabapentin the way I've been doing it, you're going to need two things. One, a pill cutter, and two, you're going to need the hard... Uh, capsule tablet not capsule caplet tablet whatever these are called the kind that you can cut in half with a pill cutter the yellow kind uh, uh, that are in a capsule form uh, I haven't tried cutting them but I don't think there'd be much point to it since they're probably filled with powder anyway and uh, so without getting into a lot of detail I've been my prescription is uh, 900 milligrams four times a day and I think that's 3,200 milligrams. You can correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, daily. And uh, I uh, had to cut down to about, uh, oh, I guess a month ago I was down to about a third of that amount, uh, taking one of the yellow uh, capsules uh, each time. And uh, I've been cutting my pills to make them smaller and smaller. And I'm probably down to about a sixteenth of what I was taking a month ago. A sixteenth of one pill per dose. I imagine it might be a little easier if you have the 200s or the 100s. Um, for me, I've got bottles and bottles of this stuff. I don't see the point in going out and spending more money on uh, gabapentin just so I can get smaller size pills. Although they might be easier to cut up into like a, a 100 uh, milligram tablet. I mean, you can cut it into 50 milligrams and from there into 25s. But uh, I'm just doing it quick and dirty and it seems to be working. I don't feel really great, but uh, compared with uh, the pain of uh, the withdrawal that I was experiencing a couple of months ago trying to go off at cold turkey, which did for me did not work. Um, yeah, it's livable. And... Uh, the reason I decided to get off the gabapentin was uh, uh, a year ago this time, September of 2017, I was uh, very sick and uh, I've done a, I don't know what you call it, a series I guess, of uh, colon cleansing and uh, I've switched to a largely uh, raw food plant-based diet and uh, it's been helping me a lot. Last year I was bedridden, I uh, could barely uh, walk to the toilet, get out of bed, that kind of thing. And now I'm functioning almost like a normal human being again. And um, But I remember, I've read various books, articles and whatnot on how switching to a plant-based diet is supposed to help clear up uh, peripheral neuropathy. And for me it wasn't not working. And I... Uh, I don't know why. I guess uh, we all do the damage we do, right? But I would uh, stop taking uh, gabapentin for a day and it's like I couldn't sleep at night. My legs would be jumping all over the place. I'd be in a cold sweat, heart going pitter-patter. The uh, neuropathy pain in my feet and legs and uh, other parts of my body uh, as well seemed worse than it initially was when I started taking the gabapentin. And I thought that doesn't make sense. It should be getting better, not worse. I didn't realize that the uh, that what I was experiencing at the time was withdrawal, and that uh, the withdrawal can actually make the the set the side effects of the withdrawal can be worse than the symptoms. So anyway, I uh, without further ado, I'll just uh, show you a series of photographs I just took, 
and uh, a video clip of me cutting a pill and um, this is my quick and dirty way to get off gabapentin I'm currently down to uh, I don't know 30 or 40 milligrams I suppose at a time four times a day three times a day now uh, a couple more days I'll be down to 15 or 20 assuming I can cut the pill small enough consistently and uh, by the weekend I hope to be completely off gabapentin and uh, God willing I'll never have to take it again I'm also doing uh, intermittent fasting so I'm eating once a day usually sometimes twice a day but I try to keep it within a six hour window um, low carb I won't say I'm doing ketogenic although I'm trying to go close to that and it seems to be working I'm not hungry uh, a little bit lightheaded. I don't know if that's because of uh, transitioning to a ketogenic diet is taking a long time or if it's because I'm going off the gabapentin or what. Uh, so I'm just taking baby steps. The main, the main thing for me is I feel light years ahead of how I did last year. And uh, this time next year I hope to be back to quote unquote normal, whatever that means. In my case, that would mean being healthy, vigorous, and uh, not having any significant physical complaints, for lack of a better word. So here we go. Watch the watch the uh, look at the photos. Uh, they're pretty much self-explanatory, and uh, I'm only putting this up because I haven't really found any good articles or videos on YouTube or elsewhere of uh, how to kick gabapentin. Just uh, lots of articles about the side effects and stuff, but nothing about how to kick it. So I thought, well, I'll share how I'm doing it, and uh, for better or for worse, uh, hopefully for better, see if that maybe helps someone else. I'm not advocating that you do it the way I'm doing it. I'm just telling you how I'm doing it. Seems to be working, and uh, oops. and uh, maybe it'll work for you. Okay, good luck. Thank you.